is Culture Daily Big Conversation Studio 899. If you're tuning in on plus 89.9 megahertz, then you are listening to us on radio, and we are happy to have you. Those of you who are tuned in on TV, you don't know. We've been fresh since 7 a.m. I'm still here with Olele Salvador Chalo. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Today and I'm the glad sweetest Lenny Lomote. Yo. Don't do that. <laughs> Charlie, oh the God. messages I've been getting since Lenny was jabbing me about my ring and things, no. Oh. Really? Uh, uh, tomorrow I'll wear my ring on my I neck. Was <laughs> I'll was wear my neck my ring on my neck. But branded. But your wives actually understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah. Okay, like, oh, yeah. I can't wear I like that you have my wives. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I know you said my wives. My wives understand. All of them understand. All six of them understand. Uh, no, you know, so, you're a big yeah. man. You so have a lot of money. Wife one to wife five. We already have our ring. My wife six. You are new. That's what I'm saying. You understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to so, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly so, will get you. Uh, oh, <laughs> Kelly, hey. <laughs> Charlie, but like I said earlier on in the show, um, we're going to be discussing um, the whole Ghana month, our heritage, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, culture, yeah. fashion, music, video, how we project being Ghanaian, being African at the root, mm. and how are we doing, how are we approaching it, who are those who are pr- promoting it, who are the catalysts, who are the main drivers. Obviously, from my standpoint, I would say the media, maybe because I'm biased, maybe some other people are pushing it better than the media, but the media are doing a beautiful job across all the TV stations, radio stations, you see people dressed to, to, to fit the occasion, people speaking various languages, even we started the show in Airway a few days ago, and we're going to be exploring that. Of course, we have guests um, who will be joining us on uh, Zoom, uh, Chief Moomin, and then, of course, the, Mr. Tourism himself. Mr. Agri. Mr. Mr. Mm-hmm. Mr. Abeku Santana. The senior boss, bro, will be having him on Zoom, and we'll be chopping it up and getting down to the crux of it all. What is it all about when we say we are celebrating our heritage and our culture as Ghanaians? Now, question number one mm-hmm. goes to Lenny mm-hmm. Lomote. Hey, best student, sit up, sit up, mm-hmm. stop playing with your Godi, calculator. Godi H. Sit I'm up. Listening, I'm listening. Yes, but uh, so Godi H. Godi H. Yeah, you, are you want to join us? That rich uh-huh. is giggling at home by now. Oh, <laughs> chill. Let <laughs> chill. That crew, that rich. No, you're for an interview. That interview. Rich, you are you not come going and meet the room full of rest, men, you, you see. <laughs> Godi, you're not going to let him rest, are you? Are you feeling the Ghana man? The whole heritage? Or are we just wearing African print every now and then no, and I'm lying not. to ourselves? I'm actually not feeling it. Why are we even, you know, just leaving the month of March um, for Ghana month. Mm. What happens to the rest of the months in the year, mm. right? And aside that as well, some people probably don't even wear prints or anything or even traditional outfits any time of the year. But when it gets to Ghana month, hey, we see them in it. So then it looks like they are the custodians of the customs mm. and cultures and traditions of Ghana, which is not the case. Why don't we even exalt it? What even makes it Ghana month? Because <laughs> even to the, the little bit of... Our independence um, was on the uh, same month. Our independence. <laughs> <laughs> even, even to the tiniest thing as our African prince, right? Are these even made in Ghana? <coughs> the threads that we are using hey, to make the prints are the, the threads made in Ghana. The Hollanders are the needles <laughs> made in Ghana. Are the machines made in Ghana? Our textile you know, factories are from Ghana. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to hide, all of but these, these, <laughs> all of these things, right? We just we just love to um, put ourselves out there as celebrating a certain you know month as Ghana month. But, but John Smith is in making actual the money. sense, even exactly, even our toothpicks, our toothpicks even made in Ghana. <coughs> so they're very little things, earbuds, you know, stuff like this, right? My so what makes oh, you're making my exactly my what? What, what makes it predominantly Ghanaian? So it's just sad that we have to just structure it in a way that just in March we say it's Ghana month without even properly putting the right things in place to make it what it should be. Like I said, even down to our fashion. You know, I, what I, we I'm love to say is actually pushing Ghana. Are these things that come that come together to make the outfits, are they even made in Ghana in the first place? The only thing made in Ghana are the people who are making them. <clears throat> Some of them crowd don't have Ghana passports. You know? So, so they are not made in Ghana. Yeah, I well, don't, I don't exactly agree. <laughs> 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 Lenny, 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 Lenny,
So this is a story on GhanaWeb.com, right? Mm -hmm. It says, notable companies in Ghana mm -hmm. that are not Ghanaian-owned. Mm -hmm. Brace yourselves. Okay, let's hear it. The first one we have is Papa Melcom. A. Oh, okay. Melcom. Melcom mm. is actually owned by an Indian magnate, Bhagwan Kupuchadani. Mm. And then this company definitely has a badge of branches all over yeah. the world. Second one is... China Mall. They, now have, they actually have Mel Malcolm Mall. Yes. Yes, on yes, so the Spring Texture. Huge. Mm. And then Malcolm Plus. Right. They're one of our very known and popular uh, real estate, uh, uh, what do you call it, companies. Mm. Trasaco. Trasaco, yeah. Known by Tarikoni Ernesto Tarikoni, who was born in Italy around 1948. Then you have Marina Mall. You have Janshin Mall. You have West Hills. Palace. Then you have Kumasi City Mall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mall that's Palace. called Kumasi City Mall. Yes. <laughs> it's not a Ghanaian mall. Then Ghanian. you have Kumasi, you have Palace. <sighs> you have Electroland, Ghana. Electroland, Ghana. Mm. Obviously, those of you who know, um, they, they say it's the Samsung Light. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't get Samsung, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't get something from yeah. Electroland. Electroland. I think they are the providers of NASCO and all those things. Yeah. Then you have Papaye. Papaye, which is like one of our favorite Papaya, food Papaya Papaya <laughs> Papaya is owned by Samir Kalmoni. Then you have Ash Foam. Ash Foam. Ash Foam. Mm. And Duraplast. Ash Foam wow. and Duraplast. Wow. Atongo. <laughs> there was a popular song that came from. I was, I it's it's just latest Atongo, latest Duraplast, or Interplast. It's latest foam. Latest foam. No, the one that was brought for. Aha. Aha. Oh, yeah, that's Ashfoam. Ashfoam, eh, yeah. Mm. But which one did they say, Even Space? Sammy B did an advert, Even Space, you take water to Even Space. Was that Duraplast? That was Duraplast. That was Duraplast. And Duraplast. TT did... Uh, Everywhere you go, water every, go flow. That, that is Interplast. Yeah. Interplast yeah. 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 These companies are not Ghanaian owned. And these are the popular companies that we are all Play, is celebrate. music Ghanaian owned? Oh. Oh, I should go <laughs> Ricky, home. 100%. Is Ghanaian. Oh, I should go home. Ricky Tennessee is Ghanaian. 100%. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is... As like what what Lenny was saying is I think it's spot on. We we've come too far to not have enough Ghanaian products to celebrate, enough Ghanaian products to be to be on like on top of our mind when it comes to you know um, products and services and you know brands and, and and whatsoever. I think I think maybe social media has been able to help project our Ghanaian products, project our Ghanaian enterprises. Like not too long ago, we, we saw a, a shout from one of um, Hollywood um, um, actresses uh, um, give a shout to Pistis. Mm -hmm. You know, Pistis, purely Ghanaian owned um, bridal. How would, you, how would you even describe Pistis? A bridal, bridal Bespoke bridal high brand, fashion high fashion, yeah, yeah everything. High, high, high fashion couture. Couture. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and we, of course, our music obviously struggling to still get some kind of you know, global recognition. You missed Gassem. I mean, oh, Gassem. Gassem is not Ghanaian exactly owned. The, the company is actually Heidelberg yeah, Cement. Yeah, Gassem is not Ghanaian owned. And Gassem is the brand. You know, so... Um, so Ghana Cement is not for Ghana. Ghana Cement is not for, 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 for Ghana. But even, it is building Ghana <laughs> and taking the money away. You know, even our uh, um, Guinness brew... Hmm. Hey, take your time. So like the whole week, I've not had my bell. <laughs> I'm really crash like six times. He has to ring the bell but for 30 minutes. when you read the story of Guinness Brewery Limited, it actually... Um, Guinness Day. Brewery. But you know it was formerly Tata um, um, Brewery Limited. Tata, yeah. about Tata and friends, Ricky. <laughs> 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 Ricky, let's be serious. Anyway, so I'm just saying that sometimes even um, Vodafone, um, Vodafone and all these um, telecommunication the brands that we we don't really have. I think the last time we had Casapa. Kasa I, I yeah. have, a, I have but a hard question. wasn't even Ghanaian owner. I have, no, a, I have a hard question, lady and gentlemen. What? Okay. Since foreigners are able to come into Ghana and create magnificent success stories mm. in Ghana, mm. then my understanding is that there's nothing wrong with Ghana. Okay. So the why, why are the Ghanaians? Ghanaians. That's in the I'm individuals. Asking, yes. But, they, but this company is with Ghanaians. Are Ghanaians incapable, inherently mm. Mm. incapable, of creating magnificent, long-lasting businesses and brands. When you say long lasting business, I mean general like businesses. I like don't think Ghanaians are incapable. Like Gassem, mm -hmm. like Duraplast, like Ashfoam. I think, it, on top of my mind, if you ask me, the longest standing brand or Holy, longest standing wholly owned Ghanaian owned business was what? Would, uh, would be Mechanical Lloyd. Uh, which is that's owned. a franchise. Yes. I mean, yeah. No, but Not I'm, to but take I'm anything saying, out yeah. of And yeah, then also this print, uh, this back, back press. 
Okay. Back press is fully back yeah, yeah, yeah. the back yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But they have seen ownership from one generation. But you see, I would to call the these service industry businesses where back press is a printing uh, magnet, right? Mm -hmm. He's right. A, there's a bit is a printing business where they service more or less corporates. It's more B two B led. That I mean, you and I when we want to print, mm. we don't go to back press. Of course, yeah. we don't. So it's, it's more guy. you understand. No, bigger, and when you want a car to buy, you don't go to mechanical like. But guess what you and I can afford? Ashfoom. Ashfoom. Melko. <laughs> Papaye. So when I'm talking about serving the Ghanaian, I want something that my driver and my cleaner and my caretaker See, can yeah, afford you, and you know, enjoy. That is holistically you, you know what we struggle with? Ghanaian. I think owned. we struggle with the get, get rich quick scheme, right? Um, if you've paid attention to some of the, the Guta um, you know, conversations, even right here in the trading you know, circle, mm -hmm. there's always this fight between them and the Nigerian traders that the Nigerian will sell this to you for one CD, knowing that when they sell a lot, they will get. But mm -hmm. a Ghanian, That's Jewish business. Yes, but a Ghanaian wants the Thousand. profit, so he'll sell this for you. 20, about 20 CDs. About know. 3D. Exactly, and that is what the foreigners have done. The foreigners come into the system, they obviously they know what the economy is like, they paid attention to trading um, um, trends. Beautiful, mm -hmm. let me pause you there. <laughs> No, but I, I was I was also going to mention that okay. I don't think um, Ghanaians actually struggle with um, building things, right? I think that the thing is sometimes I, I don't know, but the mindset is mostly to you know that when with all of the businesses that you've mentioned, they have so many Ghanaian workers, right? Right. Yes. Imagine that these businesses were owned by Ghanaians. Ghanaian. I think that's a, that's the same question you've been asking. Imagine these businesses were owned by Ghanaians. Do you think the workers will dedicate the respect? And also, uh, exactly. But let me let me let me start from because the ownership. We've seen, we've seen how a certain restaurant um, more treated one of their mm, Ghanaian, Ghanaian workers, workers, and instead of them closing their restaurant down completely, they just closed it for a few weeks, Mawako. and then they came back. They <laughs> came back, forgot. and then they are still in. I've not forgotten. I just uh, didn't Jesse want to mention. <laughs> and then I should have said Mawako. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Sure, and then they came back. They came back, and then they are still in business. Mm. If this were, uh, you know, owned by a Ghanaian, right. do you think that Ghanaians will still want to let go me, back? Let me pour some petrol on your point because the owner had that more treatment. Let me pour petrol on your point. Do you think? Our de our modernization, our the, our um, urbanization mm -hmm. as Ghanaians has taken away the critical value of generational thinking, because we now think very individualistic. Me, my wife, and my kids. Mm. You understand? Yeah, just mm -hmm. myself. Just myself and yeah, whoever family, is critically yeah. attached to me. Yeah. But you have brands like Melcom that I know has a family-led structure. That's right. And I'm sure if you look at every other one of the businesses if you've spoken about, well, that, the, the Italian, Lebanese, countries, blah, blah, the they are thinking the generational. Those who, even Printex. Yeah. I had the honor of meeting the chairman of the Printex group. Mm -hmm. Do you know the same ones who do Calipo? Really? Oh, is it? And he's in the same building, the I, same factory on Spintex. I never oh. knew that. Exactly. And he was telling me how his grandfather, he was telling me, I was there with my dad, and he was telling me that he's even more Ghanaian than us. But the chairman, of, the chairman of Printex is not Ghanaian. Is that what you're saying? No, he's not. He's not Ghanaian. No, I've forgotten the name, but wow. he's not. Oh, no. Nice. On, on, I mean, citizenship, papers, everything, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but he's not. He's not, obviously, yeah. Speaks tree, blah, 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 blah. But he was telling us that he's more Ghanaian than us because he was born here, he grew up here, mm. right? And he was even telling us a story about Printex Road. Yeah. What, which we now call what? Spintex. Spintex. The entrance used to, you see when you're going to Tema, all the factories are looking at the motorway. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's because there used to be, the road used to be that road to go into that where the factories were. Oh, it was okay. until they made the motorway and those entrances were blocked yeah. that they had to do an adjacent behind the mall, right. which was Printex Road. Oh, his dad led the charge became... for the grading of that road. Wow. How so, did that corrupt to Spintex? I don't know. I'm Some sure it's the Chor drivers. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, they do that all the time. That, 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 spring, that, you see the beautiful story I just told you. Tell me one Ghanaian story like that. Oh, I think the, the, there are some Ghanaian stories like that. The, fact that, the, the fact that you are assuming and we don't have the evidence may not have that is, longevity is proof to my point. I don't know. We I had, don't know we had a life or something. Mm -hmm. Or I'm too old. 
Was it, what is it called? Is glyco is, 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 is it was the is, mall? Is, there was glyco something. No, more. glyco is for is glyco like. is actually for a Ghanaian. The glyco is Ghanaian. Yeah. Again, glyco those are is. mandatories. If you are selling insurance, you can hardly go bust because people are mandated to to do to, so. to, 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 to get your ins to get insurance. So you, are, so you are talking about the service. I'm industry. talking about uh, innovation. innovation. Innovation, pure business, entrepreneurship, blah blah blah. Do you get what I I'm mean, saying? Are two listen, if I mean, we were just laughing about Mawako. Mm -hmm. But take papaya away, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Which other big food chain locally mm -hmm. can serve the low LSM audience and the high net worth individual? If papaya, chair mango feature papaya and there's nothing bad about it. Yeah. Or the mango feature yeah. papaya and there's nothing That's bad true. about it. Mm, sure. For me, if you ask me, papaya, Mawako, give me another brand. I know these both two of them are not ours. Mm. Give me an, a Ghanaian brand that can do that. Huh. Mm. Mm. I, I, we are still thinking. You understand? I mean, we have the Asmeres and the Mazeres and the... No, but those... No, 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 exactly. Those are smaller. Those are niche. Yeah. Yeah. More niche. And even upscale. You've seen pictures Very of upscale. Mazeres food trending and the price the being price, debated yeah. on, online. That's and why I have a, that's why I've, I've never seen anybody put papaya up that's, and say, hey, it's too even expensive. Even when papaya's prices have evolved over time... Nobody's complaining. But, yeah. I mean, and that's why I have a problem with some of our Ghanaian-owned brands that... Like you know, case it's back to your is, conversation. Case rich, is more rich expensive. Now. Golden tree chocolate is more expensive than a Snicker bar Thank or, or you. Twix, and I I don't understand. No, so that that comes I to policy. No, that's what I'm saying. Like like it should it shouldn't even be a conversation to yeah, start but with. It shouldn't be, is, but that comes to policy Ghanian because business, you know why? Because I can I can import a whole container of Twix and Snickers, mm -hmm. and my duty and everything will bring it to a lesser value than exactly. if I had to produce, have my overheads, mm -hmm. high cost of uh, electricity, water, but, uh, certification. Bro, but that shouldn't be the case. If mm. you want people to That's what I'm saying. That's why at that point, it's not business. It's policy. No, I'm just, but if I'm you want people to start using chocolate from Ghana. Yeah. It's not rocket the policy conversation. The policy should be enabling exactly. the Ghanaian. Exactly. I got exactly. you perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> if you want people to start eating chocolate from Ghana, what's the best thing to do? You, because you have a friend sent me a picture prices, of Ghana chocolate. Let me right? show you. Right, mm. you have competing you prices. So mm. why not look at quote unquote world prices, right, right and, of chocolate, and, and, and then just you know balance and adjust so that when you are pushing the so, eat chocolate agenda, everybody will understand often. that it was made in Ghana mm. and it's still quite affordable mm. in comparison mm. to mm. your Twix, mm. your Mars, mm. your um, Snicker bar, mm. all of those things. Mm. Then when I'm going to buy chocolate, I now have an option to weigh, do I have that amount of money mm. to actually buy an expensive Snicker mm. Mm. when chocolate made in Ghana is cheap? I will obviously opt for that. Mm. And if it's as tasty as, you know, Snicker and all of that, that we are making comparison to our bounties mm -hmm. and all of mm -hmm. that, Mm -hmm, at top mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we will opt for obviously golden tree chocolate. This is why. This is I'll why. I've sent something to the production mm, this guys. Is, this is if why. If they can put it on the screen, I want to run. Zero, a this is why. On. This is why it's difficult to celebrate quote unquote Ghana Month because everything that has been done, be it policy, be it implementation whatsoever, mm -hmm. has been designed to hurt the Ghanaian. And you can easily put holes in it. Yeah. The works of the Ghanaian. You can you easily put holes in wear, it. Look, in March we could wear. Uh, Ghana atadier, we could hmm. wear Ghana cloth whatsoever. It was but not even made in Ghana in the first place. <laughs> really? Let's 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 be let's be serious as a country. I'm, I'm just going to say let's be serious because I I want to believe that our leaders know what to do. Our leaders have come to understand where we are. So it's it's very difficult to try and make sense of why they haven't really become intentional. The last time we had a conversation about why we always leave the celebrations of um, Ghana story... You are your own enemy. You are your own enemy. We forgive you. Today there's no bell, so we will remember. Why we leave the action of Ghana storyism or the amplification of Ghana storyism too late, which is what? You chose amplification. In December. So I want I've sent images of Ghana chocolate. There's a brand owned mm -hmm. by a company called Lot L O T T E, mm -hmm. and the brand of chocolate is called Ghana Milk Chocolate. Mm -hmm. I want to show the packaging and everything of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I want to tell it you was who produced owns it. in. I want it, I want I've sent it to production. Let no, me put it on the screen. I'll was, tell you was about it. Was it a chocolate produced outside the country? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's not our chocolate, and I some see. of it is our, our, our chocolate. Like the way we send chocolate outside mm -hmm. yeah, for people yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's part of yeah. that. So, yeah. so what they are rather important this, is you that what let it them is? put it on the screen. Like, I, I, really want, want I want to supply everybody. <laughs> I want to understand, are we rather importing that chocolate into <laughs> Ghana, and is it even cheaper than what is being make made in Ghana? We need to know. 
we need to know these things kind of get frustrating when you have to actually you know sit down and run through a long list of things that are supposed to be you know um speaking and talking about ghana and then you realize that mm, i've just seen it's actually not even if you've seen it but i've just seen the picture serious talking about and It actually takes the packaging of. It uh, doesn't say make golden, golden tree. tree. Yeah. It's, by it's owned by a Korean brand, a mm. Korean company. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So w- then, what are what what are they doing about it then? Who is doing what about Bro, it? We've even seen Isn't there and, and, and they're supposed to like for sort of fifty pesos them or something? Four dollars, fifty pesos in uh, Ghana. Ghana. In no, Ghana. for wherever they sell it. Most I don't think they even sell it. So you know the world. The world knows Ghana for what. Chocolate. For chocolate, cocoa, yeah. Yeah, cocoa, right? For cocoa, and from cocoa, you have chocolate, the best yeah. cocoa. Then we have yeah. some of the best cocoa yeah. out there. Cocoa grows in other places, but our cocoa is unique. It's rich. Is it, when you say cocoa, I, I oh, was not cocoa, understand. cacao. So our cacao cocoa. is one of the cocoa. Uh-huh. Our cocoa, cocoa, cocoa is one of the best. Cocoa. I thought you were talking about some other cocoa somewhere. Cocoa, whichever schools you went to. Cocoa, yeah. cocoa. Yeah. cocoa. Yeah. In St. Peter's, I don't say cocoa. What yeah. oh, is it? Cacao. <laughs> is it cacao <laughs> French? Cacao is but French. I, I, I don't want us to. I I I don't want us to reduce the celebration of Ghana Month, if indeed it is the Ghana Month, to just wearing. I want to make a point. There we go. Oh wow. So this is you see extra cacao. Extra cacao. So this is leveraging on our brand and our notoriety for having quality cocoa and chocolate. And somebody has packaged this and is making money off this with even the text there in Korean. If Selling that, this if, in I, Asia, I which is one of the world's biggest... Of East Byte so that we what? could just juxtapose the two. Yeah, yeah of course. If, 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 I mean, I sent another picture, picture where they have Byte. ranges. There's a black one, there's, there's a, a golden, golden one. one. And it just a... mimics... And that's just like how... Um, it just, it just mimics... Is. Golden trees, uh, up, 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 branding. Up, whatever they call it. <laughs> you understand? Yes, and this is what I'm saying, that we have everything. And Ghanaian innovators, entrepreneurs, businessmen, right? Um, we, we, are, we are always trying to build apps. <laughs> when we are not Chinese, we are not Indians, we are not Koreans. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that stereotypically because we know some people are good at something. Yeah. We know Brazilians are good at football. Yeah. It's not an insu- insult. Yeah, yeah. South Americans are good at football. Yeah. It's not an insult. Yeah. We uh, uh, Asians are good at math. They are good at science Technology, programming. It's not an insult. That is the, st- the 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 characteristic of the demographic, right? If you were selling something, eh, you would look at the demographic and say, where can I sell this for it to move? Mm. Yeah. And looking at that demographic is just tapping into the stereotype of the people. Yeah, our stereotype in Ghana is becoming the fact that we don't like things that are indigenous. No, we don't. We actually the dumping side for innovation. Exactly. That's that's what we are. We I mean, are dumping side. If like, I tell you how many how many use clothes, the full value, six post, post, the, like, post. Last last year was millions about, of dollars were for post. Six million last dollars. year that we said the year was hard. Mm-hmm. About six million dollars. We imported of, millions. Please, uh, please, I have a thrift oh. business. Why are you talking about it? You have a what? A thrift. The first, the first. It's three, three years small. It's lower your voice. Lower your voice. Like you see, bro, like you're saying, Ghana has become a dumping site for innovation. Like. An Asian will look at Ghana. The last time I think we were talking about a story where um, two 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 foreigners came to the country with just about a few dollars to their names, walk, walking around the streets of Osu, mm-hmm. decided to go see the vice president, found their way to meet the vice president, and the next thing you know, quite yeah. privilege. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we are like, oh, we are the test, you know, or shall I say yeah. the the test environment? Okay. Ghana is, is a booming economy. They have booming markets. Let's go there. But the people that actually contribute to the booming economy Don't are not given it. a chance. Yeah. You know, Easy. look, this whole thing of um, being indigenous, innovation and stuff like that, right? In other countries where they have universities, like, for example, there's like a Silicon uh, Valley community. Mm-hmm. A lot of technical universities here are producing great, great, great inno- innovators. Mm. Lots of them. Nah, don't finish and go but out of the we country. Don't, we, don't, we don't see, like, even, even tech... Even um, Kwame Nkrumah... Uh, of, I, I disagree with you on no. that. No. Can you ask I disagree University with you. No Kwame Nkrumah of university, Kwame please. Kwame Nkrumah University Science and Technology. Oh, Lele, you kneel down. Oh, Lele, I don't want to say that. How many of you guys forgive me? But these guys are constantly producing... Constantly are uh, constantly producing... Uh, Chinese. Well, Ricky, stop it. Ricky, stop it. Ricky, stop it. They are constantly producing great guys. I don't want to believe that we... Let me pause you there. I'm coming. Let me land. I don't believe that we've become a society where we ask students to do project work and then we take their project work and we shelve it. 
Nothing and the stress uh-huh. that goes into project. So, like, so, so here we go. Hey. Back, back to the conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Roast milk. What is that? Bro, I don't know, but maybe somebody, anybody who, who knows where we can get this, just tweet at us. Let's taste it and see what it's like. But I mean, the packaging, the, even the color ranges. This is going Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That right the color range. Bat. And this straight. is going on. And they are selling this to the world. If you Google Lot, uh, Lot what is Lot or Lottie or whatever it's called, it's in stores everywhere. And I wouldn't even be surprised if this was distribution and marketing is better than Yeah, like ours. this may even be in stores that ours, golden tree. Uh, exactly. I wish you could get... And uh, anybody who is ignorant price. or who is uninitiated walks into a shop and sees um, uh, Ghana, Ghana chocolate. Yeah. It's like, oh, this must be the real ish, you know? Yeah. And we'll buy it. And, and then the money ripping, goes to Korea. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ghanaian well. cocoa farmers are dying. Yes. Yes, you get that. That's, that's so I saying, think our right. relegation of Ghana month and Ghana this Ghana that to, to a month to, to to firstly to a month, and then relegating it to a uh, to a sense of fashion mm-hmm. and a sense of entertainment, mm-hmm. it's not going to solve anything. Well, work. It we can work. wear all the African prints we want, but if the African print is coming from China, my brother, you are really killing yourself. Maybe show. Maybe print, print, Where so they? African prison, we cannot talk African prison, we cannot talk Oh, I'm he's not even a plant. I won't plant it. <laughs> get out of there, no. man. I'm not going to plant it. No, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. What's the point of wearing all these prints and getting all these tailors and fashion people to sew this and that? And we all but look... bro, isn't, isn't that the metaphor of what the country has become? Let's be very honest. We Ghana man should be about Ghanaian identity just, we are just and Ghanaian sub, we become surface elevation. People. We've become surface people. We've become... We only want to be in the in, in the conversations when it comes to um, the country's PR, right? But there's a lot of struggle below. Like you said about the cocoa farmers, right? How many times do we hear stories, news about cocoa farmers not getting their due, fertilizers are short? Like it's all sort of interesting things that contribute to some of these craziness in the country. Mm-hmm. And then someone is out there thinking that, hey, you know what? I have to do what I have to do to get this thing I'm, out I'm there. Even, and we should mind our business. I'm even but, heartbroken, bro. Ah, bro, it's... it's, it's <sighs> let, me, let me read this to you. Okay. Ghana is a brand of chocolate manufactured by the Korean company, Lot Confectionery, since 1964. Huh? And South Korea since 1975. Its name is a homage to the country Ghana. One of the world's what? largest exporters of cocoa beans, from which chocolate is made. The confectionery has a creamy texture and is a popular brand in both South Korea and Japan. These people have been making money off the Ghana oh, name. Yes. Ghana chocolate name. Since 1964, my brother. Go to Wikipedia. And they have ambassadors. They have... <laughs> Bro, you know... That's you, a long time. Look, you see, I think Lenny was on a particular tangent, but she didn't land the way I wanted to land. We are good, at, start, we are good at starting things, yeah? We, oh, we have an idea. We could do one. We could do one. But keeping it, sustaining it to the end has become a problem. And that is where I want to ask the house. What has led to these things? Because mm-hmm. look, at, look, look, look at even our media, for example. Mm. When we were growing up, we used to watch a lot of locally produced um, programs. Mm-hmm. So we have By the Fireside. You had, um, uh, what do you call it? Teche Kule. Teche Kule. Even our series, we had Ephira, we had a Cantata, Cantata. we had Concert Party. What happened? A can drama, all what of switched? that. What switched? You know, is it because, like you said, modernization? You need a BA. Now, you need a BA, you know? What you happened? Need, you need a BA end result. No, I, no. <laughs> I, I opened to the end result, not to the hard Not to work. the process. Not to the process. I love that. Yeah, not to the not process. To the process. Yeah. Mm. And that is the reason why we have people today that want a Range Rover, that want a Benz, who just came out of Legon. Mm. Bro, you want to go do you know how to use Excel? <laughs> <laughs> Before you are, you are Range Rover. Do you know how to align do text? Know, can, can you align text? Can you justify? <laughs> can you justify? Do you know the difference between an informal letter <laughs> and, informal and a formal <laughs> letter? Before you want a V8. You know, time you know, so like, you. We don't understand <laughs> it. And in the, in the real world, I say real world a lot. In the real world. On Earth. Yes. <laughs> On Earth, there's yeah. opportunity. Mm. There, are, there are once in a while sparks that you came up with an app or you came up with something, you became a millionaire, like Shark Tank, and yeah. Poof, yeah. your life has yeah. changed. Yeah. But I have stayed outside. Mm. I have worked. Mm. It's not like that. Call your bro, we, we go down, man, on it. Ask him, say, why bro. no ten, Why no the Beverly Hills mm-hmm. still? A facade. You understand? <laughs> it's not like that. Yes, the opportunities exist. If you have some special talent and you have some niche purpose, something can spark up for you. 
But Ghana is just like everywhere else. As much as our economy issues since Adam and all that, everywhere is a struggle. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And if we don't make home a successful place, where will you call home? Hmm. And if we have uh, Koreans and Japanese making money of our cocoa and chocolate hmm. since 1964, hmm. right? But we, are, we have been graduating people in food science, in chemistry, in what, 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 from tech and affiliated uh, uh, institutions for God knows how long. Hmm. Have we even invented a lawnmower? Hmm. Hey. Even, the, even the machine to barb our hair, hmm. the machine to clip our hair, hmm. Hmm. have we invented one? Hmm. Hmm. Even scissors. Is there a Ghanaian owned scissors brand? Hmm. The That's scissors, two metals, two metals with a hinge. Even toothpick. Two metals <laughs> with a even listen, toothpick. Mm, two toothpick. metals. Two metals with a circular hinge. Do, do we have it? If, if Air condition. Uh, producer Ricky has said something wisdomous. He, he, uh, Ricky doesn't always apply wisdom, but today wisdom has come. Let's clap for Ricky. <laughs> oh, Charlie! <laughs> I love it. No, Ricky that's said line, that's line, that like we it. live in the heat. <laughs> and we have never... We live in the tropics. Here, if you hot, 60 <laughs> degrees, you won't cook. But nobody has invented air conditioning. Air conditioning. Even the fan, I don't think we have a Ghanaian own fan. <laughs> but yeah. the white man who lives where it snows and goes <laughs> minus 10 degrees has invented AC yeah. for the three months or four months of sunshine that he gets. Yeah. You see, we don't have a necessity to solution mindset. The things that we need, we are not driven to create solutions mm. to address those things. Mm. We just consume, 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 mm. consume, see, consume. Even so people are coming out of school with all the degrees, true and poor, clapping, uh -huh. all those things, but can't solve any real-world problem. And uh -huh. that is what Ghana Month should be about in my, my thinking. 100%. That are we keeping human resource yeah. To the point where you say Ghana month, we can self-sustain and create be beyond the nice African print shirt. Beyond the nice African print dress. Finalists from National Science and Math Schools. They went to Brazil and went to dance. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't See, and even to the, the littlest <laughs> thing. Omar, we are there, sir. I went to Brazil and said, Yenme Yenshe. What is the osmosis? The osmosis is the... For three points. No, but is that not what we are taught? It's just unfortunate. But that's what it is. Mm, yeah. Like, chew and pour, right, and forget. Yeah. Chew and pour, right, and forget. Is if that not miss, what we if do? If you miss the, the whole thing. If, the if, whole if thing. that was not the case, right, you would have people who are past a certain age demographic who should still be able to recite the... Um, the pledge and also me? sing yeah. the anthem. It's what not, no, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not even thinking about it. It's true. Yeah. It's yeah. just true yeah. yeah. and poor, right? And they forget. The pledge because they said you, know, you, you know, know what they saw? There are some people. There are some people in secondary school who don't even know how to because they've forgotten it. They do it constantly in GSS at assembly, and then they move to secondary school and they forget. It's just that true and poor, right? And forget. I was even going to talk also about you know food. Mm. Right, some of the fertilizers that we even use for food that we even consume mm. are they made in Ghana? Mm. Like, if we have to look at all of these things, we it's have to Ghana propose say, in all of these things. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. When I, when, I first it's entered, a lot. when I first entered my master's class, the first two weeks, I was so disheartened. It was bosses, managers, mm. people who, okay, let's go. Me, as a man, my better now. <laughs> And then we had like a, a, a blitz test, a surprise test or something. Mm. And in the silence of the room, I could hear people trying to recite back. They were trying to regurgitate. Have you ever seen a cow <laughs> that's eating grass and lie down and then to, <laughs> and then to chew small? Yeah. People were sitting there going. Just before they could so put answer to none of the information is from understanding. Mm. All of the information mm. Mm. is from recall. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then you give these people the certificates. And you send them back into the world. What are they going to create? Yeah. And that's, that, that principle is the same principle that applies to how we start at class one. Recite and recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is equal to excellence. Yeah. So yeah. we have people who remember everything but yeah. know nothing. They know yeah. nothing. And yeah. how dare you write an answer or write... In your, write own, way. your own way. Ah, the teacher did not write it on the board. Do you so know, you it's not even about... Do you know why the teacher will mark you wrong? Teacher probably doesn't get it. Yeah, has, ever, has ever yeah. crossed your mind mm, that mm. in your expression mm. of your answer, mm -hmm. mm. the teacher himself is a product of the flawed system. Yeah. He is also there teaching you based on recall. So you are just passing on. Sure. You guys, yeah. So yeah. the moment you deviate from that recall to give him a unique answer that he has not had time to process, 
he cannot accept whether it's yeah. true. Because it's either said, what is in the book or... Yeah. The, and then what, what year did uh, Newton... <laughs> the year Newton figured out gravity and how it worked. How does that, knowing that year, mm. contribute to my application of the laws of gravity? Well, it depends on what you want to be in the future. If you want to be a historian... Across, across everything. <laughs> across everything. If you, want, if you want to be a historian, ah, up to now, I know the father of history. Do you know? Harold Otos. Right. And I was hiring a hieroglyphic. Let me go. I was me, standing me, on the corridor, just... Who is the father of history? Herodotus. Akiola, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, let me boss your mind. Before I go and pay my bills for mm. my LPM, mm-hmm. year of return, mm. we are asking people to come back and find out their heritage, their lineage, their culture, mm-hmm. find out what Ghana is all about. The two institutions that should be most active are the departments of history and the departments of archaeology. Mm. Think about the last mm. time you heard about any of them. Mm. Hmm. Shots mm. on shots. Mm. Oh. Shots on shots. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my mother. Pew, pew. No. That my mother, no, she can collect it to me. We have to give it to my mother. You no, but the matter, if you want, <laughs> if you want to talk the matter, pew, like, pew. into detail, honestly, Ooh. there's just so much we can talk about. So we, many things to poke holes in. So many things to question. Which cool. is... The Slave for country. Ghana promo is here. Enjoy the rich Ghanaian culture through amazing wooden fabrics, ready to wear outfits and fashion accessories as we celebrate Ghana. Visit wooden real t- retail shops and partner shops worldwide. Yes. Partner shops nationwide and receive an instant gift with your purchase. Apologies there. The offer ends on 7th April. Terms and conditions apply. Wooden Lecrator. Wooden shops are available in the Crown Crown Mall, ANC Mall, Junction Mall, Oxford Street, Osu Mall. High Street, City Near, the Car Park Building, Legon City Mall, H&M Mall. In Kumasi, you can find them in Kumasi City Mall, SG Mall, in the Doom Unicorn House, Cape Coast Park Building near Kingsway, Takradi Market Circle, Koforidria, and in Antarctic Plaza Park Building, and in the same Park Building in Sunyani. And then there's a Slave for Ghana promo from Woodin. Now, Pepsodent is saying that despite all the beautiful, tasty Ghanaian cuisine, every time we eat food and sugars are trapped between our teeth, leading to tooth decay, gum disease, and in some cases, foul breath. Brushing your teeth every morning and night with Pepsodent cavity fights gives your teeth the protection they need, leading to stronger teeth 10 times over. Pepsodent cavity fighter is fortified with pro fluoride and micro calcium ingredients sealing tiny and invisible holes in your teeth now pepsodent cavity fighter is ed- educating Ghanaians for 25 years now on brushing day and night and pepsodent is recommended by the ghana dental association now you can get pepsodent at any shop near you or you call customer care on 0800 200 or 2030 0800 2000 30. You always remember to brush your teeth in the morning and before you sleep at night. Pepsodent, every smile matters. Pepsodent, every smile matters. And that's beautiful right there from Zero. Pepsodent and Woody. <clears throat> yes, Olele. After how many years since our last national airline went missing? <clears throat> I don't know what's taking them forever. I don't know what's going on because even South Africa <laughs> Airlines have been back working like no one's business, direct flights from African countries to other African countries and even to the hmm. US. My brother, the Malaysia we, flight that vanished, Grady, are still working. See you. The right. one that the plane vanished. And that's, and that's in the team air, and the company is working. They are talking about but You understand. And so sometimes, you see, it, we, we are not asking for much. I don't think we're having this conversation because we want to really bash the people who make these things impossible. We are saying that the solution you are looking for is right before you. There are, are people, because these same Ghanaians that we say they are not serious, they are mm-hmm. not this, they are not that, Attitude they go the to most... other um, other countries, and these guys are executives, they are CEOs, they are this, they are this in other places. So why is it that they are not good enough for us, but they are good enough for the Westerners? That is yeah. why I don't understand. That's, what, that's why I said that's that. Why I don't, I don't you know when, when Cyril mentioned people who go to like the technical schools right. and all of that and right. go and get mm. the knowledge, right? Right. We don't want to accept them in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. But when, no they fly, when they fly, yeah. when they go outside Ghana, when they jackpa, uh, they so, become. Uh, you realize that most people. Mm. Well, I, I've I've seen this train of of this happening, right? People are in Ghana. They are contributing. They are working so hard, mm. but they are not getting to that high that they get to. That's right. Immediately they go 
outside of Ghana, mm. they are celebrated, they mm. are hailed, Street. they become, you know, um, you Super know, big stars. people. Let they me tell you about Mali people said. who who are contributing significantly to whatever space they are in. And I'm like, what is it? What is Until it? Until really? the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is permanently and finally discredited and abandoned everywhere is war. But Mali said this. The value of culture. Rasta, you don't know, man, I represent sins. You for understand that what we perceive as valuable is always external. And that is our biggest problem. Until our. It's from a man on it. You understand? But let's cut in to our guest. We have Chief Moomin on the line. Let me see if I can get him. Yeah, he's on Zoom. He's also going to be contributing to our conversation about Ghana Month, the Ghana Heritage, and are we just relegating Ghana to fashion and entertainment, or is Ghana Month really going deep enough to the point where it needs to impact us as a society at large and as an economy? Hello, Chief. Hello. Yes, sir, I can hear you, my brother. Welcome to Culture Daily. I'll be... Yes, thank you very much. I'm doing very well. I'm at the, the Ghana Culture Forum event here at Kotianan Peace Kitchen Centre, which is held on the 14th of every March, to reflect really about issues of our culture and its impact on our lives, on our economy, on our psychology, and on our, on our identity as a people. Okay, have you been following our conversation, Chief? No, I just popped out of the program just to listen to, just to take the call. So I just met the tail end okay. of So we are Malisa actually exploring the whole Ghana Month conversation. You know, um, we, 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 we saved this month for Ghana Month to try and celebrate and elevate the Ghanaian heritage and identity. And we just, we have been having the conversation saying that, yes, for a sense of fashion, we wear African print, we hear a lot more Ghanaian music here and there, maybe some Ghanaian films. But is Ghana only relegated to entertainment and fashion? What about manufacturing? What about business? What about education? Are we touching those industries when we speak about Ghana? A month, and we wanted your take on that. I think it's a very, very relevant conversation that you guys are having because sometimes the temptation is that when we have, I mean, occasions like this to reflect, you know, on Ghana our culture, our identity as a people, we may put a lot of emphasis on the aesthetics, right? Because it's fun and it's engaging, which is all right because they are part of our cultural expression. But beyond the aesthetics, how does it have an impact? On our lives, on the way we think, and even the way we behave generally, and as you have put it in place, how does it impact our economy? You know, and I think you know one of my favorite subjects. You know, something like skin bleaching, right? This is an issue of identity, and skin bleaching is a billion-dollar industry. You know, across West Africa, in fact, across Africa, where we import billions of dollars of of of, uh, of bleaching cream in order to appear a particular way because we feel that that is the standard of beauty. So now when we are reflecting on issues of our thought and our identity, how are we using even those points of aesthetic to reconfigurate the way people think so that we dismantle industries that continue to oppress us and then elevate industries that can, you know, essentially empower us. So for example, what are the alternatives to those creams that we use? How can that impact our, let's say, share butter business, right? If every Ghanaian says, look, I want to have a made in Ghana pomade in my world group, like people are buying cocoa butter, shea butter, made in Ghana. There are a lot of these young, young entrepreneurs making some of these things. What kind of value would we be, you know, putting into the economy? One of the things I am particularly excited about, even though uh, it's in the fashion industry, because uh, over the past decade we've seen that there's been a, uh, a proliferation of local artisans and there's a sense of uh, Ghanaian fashion and it has empowered a lot of fashion designers. Look at Kafans replacing, you know, sense of the suit. Look at how the northern fugu fabrics, the kente fabrics are, are getting different iteration, right? How do we make sure that this sustains and it empowers people? So I think that this conversation that you're having is definitely spot on and that people must understand that it's not just about the razzmatazz, it's not just about the excitement, it is issues about identity, it's issues that affect who we are, our confidence as our people as we deal with others around the world. So, um, 
I want to know from you if there are any initiatives, right, or any 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 uh, events or programs that are looking to address this directly. Because I mean, what what we hate to do on this show is just you know state the problem, state the problem, and then we say bye bye. Yes. We also want to communicate to the audience that based on this problem we've identified, this is how we want to to to, to address it, or this is how we want to push the attention to where the solution is. I mean, in a minute or so, if you can wrap up on that for me. I mean, let me take it from the macro level. You know, I think that first of all, it's a greater consciousness. And because I'm an artist, I always hold artists responsible because indeed we are culture creators. We create the trends that people aspire to. And let me just use an unrelated example. Look at, you know, Tem, you know, making headlines around the world because of what she wore. I've always felt that when our African artists get these big global platforms, how do they use those global platforms to highlight, you know, elements of who we are as an identity? If let's say Temp had decided to wear some really fantastic designer from Nigeria, what kind of impact would that have had for visibility on Nigerian fashion and indeed its a creative system? So I think that it also starts with the artists, right? How do we privilege, you know, certain identities? So I think that our artists, whether music directors, musicians, actors, writers, we must begin to understand the role that we play in creating aspirations and we must be ensuring that the content that we create does not continue to oppress us but to liberate us. And this goes also to media, you know, producers, right? What are some of the things that go into the kind of customs that you do? You know, for news presenters, you always prefer a particular shade for actresses, for video vices, you always prefer a particular shade, a particular kind of look. So I feel that we in the media art space have an important role to play in providing the aspirations that our people need to, you know, push them out of the situations that they, they can be in. And I like that the media of campaign, you know, buy Ghana, this buy Ghana, that. But beyond the excitement that we create in March, what policies are we putting in place to make this a part and parcel of our life? Because if we see these things as events that we celebrate, then they'll just be that. It's like a day that we come together, let's celebrate who we are as a people. But what we really need is for it to become a part and parcel of our life. That we are wearing things that we are creating, we are using things that we are producing, right? So what campaigns and what special messages are we putting into the content that we produce to help, you know, cultivate the kind of views, behaviors that we seek? And I think that that's a challenge for everybody, for your producers out there, that this topic that you are discussing is not just about this day, but going forward, what, how, how do you make this a regular, you know, issue that changes both minds and people's uh, and for me on the personal level, that's the work I do with what all that I'm doing with my theater and the, the art that I produce is to really glamorize who we are as a people and through that, you know, glamour, make people aspire to who we are, our identity, our authenticity, even though that is constantly changing. I think, uh, uh, no, I don't know, as they say, because um, you've really hit the, the nail on the head. And uh, for me, the best part um, of what you said is that we need to use um, those who are the front lines, our celebrities, our big stars, and get them to project and elevate our values. Like you said, this whole Thames thing, when we have a lot of, of, of people going out there, we have people in the States and wherever, blah, blah. Charlie, your designer is nice, but... Happy brother, you know. Let's 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 bring it back home. But chief, thank you very much for for creating thank the time you. for us. We know you're a busy man, and uh, your input has definitely been valuable today on our big conversation on Culture Daily. We'll connect better time, and maybe one day have you in the studio for a more extensive conversation. We'll definitely be in touch, chief, and we're out with you. Right. So, guys. Yeah. I mean, I just want to quickly say that I want to quickly say that. Look, like what chief said, two things I picked from him amplification and conditioning the same way we've been conditioning out of our heritage mm -hmm. we should just do the same thing to bring it back i don't know whoever is in charge is going to get it done to recondition but he is doing like he said he's doing his bit everything he does he remembers the fact that he's Ghanaian, so he needs to channel that through his work mm -hmm. we here at three music we try as much as possible to put a spotlight on our Ghanaian artists our Ghanaian entertainers and whatnot mm -hmm. what are other people doing it's not just about wearing a shadow i've seen comments like you are not you are not, you are not wearing african shadow because we've just established that oh there's that oh yes you don't need mm. to wear a Ghanaian shadow to prove that you are Ghanaian. that is the cosmetic problem we have yeah. everything is aesthetics yeah, yeah but say your money you're fair once they one not wi-fi now I don't like it. Sorry, sir. I don't like it. Sorry. What Sorry. is that? 
Sorry, sir. Give me my five back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it off, but yeah. definitely, you, I mean, I like that. Whenever you say Ghana, be Ghanaian, yeah. the first thing we think is, let me, what should I wear? Yeah, yeah. Misha Tadie be now. No, be actually. Ghanaian. The first thing that comes to our mind bro, is, what let should me, I let wear? Me bust and your that, mind. That, that is bro, the problem. Let me bust your Beautiful mind. Point. When we went to SA, yeah, it's strange that people could tell that we are not from there. Mm. Yeah. And we are wow. the same color. We are all black people. Mm. But they could tell that, Charlie, I, I didn't have to there. say a word. I didn't have to say a word. It was not to No, I think with that, it's, it's okay. You know, some people from certain countries have a certain look. It's just like how you see a Kenyan. You see a group of Kenyans or probably Namibians or even South Africans yeah. in Ghana. You can yeah. tell they are not Ghanaian. Yeah, but I'm, just, don't even have to but say I'm, I'm just saying that they, they are so heavily conditioned in their culture. So much they know so they, they, they can tell. They can even sniff it of you that, Charlie. You are not from here. Mm. And that is what I'm saying. We shouldn't wait to December in Ghana before people come here to experience. For us to be Ghanaian. Ga no, nah, Charlie, been every no, single what, what, day. What y'all don't, don't, don't understand the black stars is. that is getting us in the conversations, it was supposed to be something else. Mm -hmm. But it's, we have to wait to maybe an AFCON or a World Cup for the black stars to go and do something. Look, that, that, I want to give big shout outs to our creatives. Our creatives are basically the ones saving the brand Ghana. And yeah. we are not even focusing on them. From the Yvonne Nelsons to the Shatawales to the Sarko, to the Stoneboys, yeah. Riala, the Bans, yeah. to the you know, Riala. All, these, Riala, all these guys, they are the ones actually putting Ghana out there. Yeah, doing we'll come back and have this conversation. And I said, maybe it's not exhaustive. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, we couldn't yeah, exhaust yeah, the whole. Yeah, yeah. Too, too much. Exhaust exactly, the exactly, whole yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Let me know more. It's just me, so I'm, much I'll talk close about. my show in a minute. So what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. We're going to tease it. Ghana match. We're going to tease it. Yeah, yeah. We are going to eat tease it from here. Without a spoon. Yeah. Without a spoon. What is spoon? But wait, but wait. The bowls. What the bowls made in Ghana? The bowls you're going to eat from. The bowls. Eh. The bowls you're going to eat made it from Ghana. Just say. Then let's go eat what you're eating. The woman has leaves, so let's go into that. What if what, what if the leaves are the leaves are for important leaves. <laughs> <laughs> we pour for floor. But we pour I, I, mean, the for floor. I mean, we can do better. It, it, it trickles down from the top, right? And if we are all supposed to be accountable, let's just do the right thing. Because then in the end, people have questions to ask. Yeah. And these questions need answers, mm. right? And if we do the right thing, especially as um, talking to the people in power, mm. if the mm. right thing is done, it mm. will trickle down, mm. right? Mm. And, and people across the different strata mm. would know what to do and what not to do, what to use, what not to use, you know. Mm. Let them, let us imbibe in us true, you know, the, the true Ghanaian culture and not just live it by mouth. It doesn't and, work. And also, let me also quickly say that we also need to pay attention to quality when it comes to our services and products because that is what really becomes the bane of the Ghanaian product or the Ghanaian export because mm. you want to believe in a Ghana made product but the quality is nya. We'll come back. Right, so we've got hip hop coming up this week. You already know hip hop month as well. There's a lot of hip hop lined up. We have a big conversation coming up. We have a cipher plan. We have a lot of things planned, and this is where it's all going to be activated on Three Music TV for hip hop month in Ghana as well. And I'm going to be leading that charge. You're done now. So as we sign out, remember one of the Cobolo is our guest tomorrow on the big conversation. It's going to be crazy in here. And as we sign out, I say. Our decisions have got us facing bad relations, and we need to make decisions that favor us mm -hmm. as a country. So with that in mind, Ghana is in here. It'll be your shadow. Mm -hmm. The name is Serial with Lenny Lomote, Olele Salvador. This has been Culture Daily, and we are out. Yeah.